Yo, I got a haircut. So obviously that means I got to update my profile picture. But instead of starting from scratch, I'm going to show you how you can utilize isolation mode in Illustrator to easily and quickly update your design. In this case, I'll just be changing the hairstyle on my character design. So let's hop into it. All right, so here we are in the project file for my profile picture. Basically what we're going to need to do is get rid of the ponytail and update this portion of the hair right here. So what we can do is go ahead and delete the pony. We're going to delete all these detail lines right here. So already we're looking a little bit more accurate to what my current hairstyle is. But what we can do now, instead of just putting a new shape on top of all this, we can go into isolation mode. So in order to do that, all you have to do is double click on a shape. So we'll double click on this yellow shape right here. And now we're in isolation mode. So we can click over here, click wherever you want. Nothing's gonna get affected besides the hair. So we can adjust this a little bit easier. In this case, I'm gonna add the new hair on top of this one and then we'll delete this shape after we're done. This way we can keep the general shape of the original design. So we'll go right on top of it like this. We'll do the top line first. It's just gonna be a curve like this. And we're going to give that the zigzag effect. So go up to effect, distort and transform, and hit zigzag. Adjust the settings. So let's just go ahead and get rid of the fill on this. And then what I'm going to do is go to object and expand appearance. So now we have this wavy line and we can make straight lines down like this. So by creating this top line first and adding the zigzag effect to it, we're able to make the straight lines on the sides. If we were to make this full shape before adding the zigzags, we would have zigzags on all four sides, which we didn't want. So that's why I did it like that. So now let's go ahead and just give that the yellow fill back and now we can delete this original shape. And in order to get out of isolation mode, just double click off anywhere on the screen. And now we have access to the full design again. So now we can just move this around a little bit to make adjustments. We can just move this point over, move this point a little bit. curve out these two corners. We can get rid of these bumps on the hairline as well. So let's zoom in. And with your pen tool selected, just hover over that point right there and we can just delete those. I'm also gonna curve out these portions of the hairline. Let's get rid of that point, get rid of that point. And we can curve these out just a little bit adjust the beard and then we can add a few small lines here for details so we can actually go back into isolation mode so double click on this hair again and we're gonna add just a few lines like this these don't have to be super accurate when you draw them in because we can adjust them once we get out of isolation mode but the point is just to get them in there first and then make adjustments later. So now get back out of isolation mode, double click over here, and we can move these around. See how they're hidden behind the blue shape? And we can make adjustments like that. And that's pretty much it. So as you can see, isolation mode can be super helpful when you have a ton of layers going on in your file. I always find myself going in and out of isolation mode if I want to make adjustments to certain shapes that are covered up by other shapes. So once you get used to it, it just becomes second nature, double clicking into the shape that you want and making adjustments. Another thing that's really cool about isolation mode is when you're working with groups. So if you look here, this ear is all grouped together. So if you double click on that, we're in isolation mode now, basically within the group. Let's say I wanted these two shapes to also be grouped together. We can Command G, group those together. And now we have a group within the group. So we can double click on this 
and then just make adjustments to those shapes if we want to do that. So when you're working with groups, isolation mode comes in handy as well. So drop a comment if you thought this was helpful. Let me know if you wanna see some more quick tips like this to speed up your workflow. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace.